here's my Mediterranean chicken recipe. I'm going to start off with six chicken thighs. Now you can use any chicken pieces you want. I like the thighs. I think they're a good value. They're very tasty. And they, if you use all the same parts of chicken, they'll cook at the same time. But you can mix it up if you want. And all I'm going to do for, this, for the start is just salt them, kind of generously, and pepper them. My oven is on at 350 degrees, and I'm going to put these in for about 30 minutes. What you want to do is you want to cook them about 80% of the way, because then we're going to take them out, drain them, and then we're going to add a bunch of vegetables in, to them. So I'm just going to put these in for about 30 minutes. And while those are in the oven, we're going to make our vegetables and get those ready. So I need a nice big bowl. And I have here some beautiful baby um, cherry tomatoes, teardrop grape tomatoes, whatever you want to call them, in assorted varieties. I found these at the supermarket and I said those are really pretty. Need to try some of those. So you need about a pound for those six chicken thighs. And you can double this recipe very, very easily. So I'm going to quarter the big ones. Have the grapes lengthwise because I like it that way. I like these purpley ones. They're really cool. My tomatoes are all done. Now I'm going to slice up a half of a large onion to add to it. And I said a pound of tomatoes, but really it's cooking, not baking, so you can put more in if you want. Or if you're not a fan of tomatoes, I don't know how you couldn't be, but if you're not, cut back on them. I've got three large cloves of garlic, and you don't have to mince these because they're going to break down in the oven, so I'm just chopping them up slightly. Okay, I'm losing some. And then I have these wonderful peppers that I found in the supermarket, and I'm going to add a few of these. They're just, they're very sweet. And they're very colorful. They'll make the dish look really beautiful. So I'm going to cut some of those up. And I think I'll cut them into like long strips. And again, this is really to taste. Some people don't like peppers. And if you don't, you can leave them out of the dish. But they're so pretty and they're so sweet. So I'll probably put about 10 of these in. All right, that's good. Now, because these are not hot peppers, I don't, I'm not worried about those seeds, so I don't care if they go in. They're going to actually kind of disintegrate into the sauce anyway. So to that, I'm going to add like a half a teaspoon of oregano, a little bit of olive oil, some salt. Now the olive oil, I would say about a tablespoon, maybe two. The tomatoes are going to break down and actually make almost a sauce in the pan with the chicken. So I don't need a lot of liquid in here. And for now, that's it. All I have to do is wait for the chicken to come out of the oven, and then we can add this back to the chicken and then put it back in the oven. The Mediterranean chicken is about 80% done. I've taken it out of the oven. Now I'm going to take the thighs out of the pan because I want to get rid of a lot of that fat because I know I don't want it and my heart does not need it. So now I'm going to pour off as much of that as I can. And now, put this over here for a second. One thing I forgot to add when I was mixing up these vegetables is capers. And I absolutely adore capers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some in now. Probably, I'm putting in, I don't know, maybe two tablespoons. 
You can leave them out or put as many in as you want. And if a little bit of the juice goes in there, it's no problem. Okay, now all of these go into the pan. Now the chicken goes back on. Kind of nestle them in there. And these are going to go back into that 350 degree oven. By the way, I left these in about 40 minutes. So these are going to go back into that oven for another 15 minutes just until all the tomatoes and the peppers start getting softened up and they're really tasty. And then we will be able to eat it. So back in the oven.